guys, it's Denise. Welcome back to my channel. And for today's video, I'm going to be answering and reacting to your questions and assumptions about me. And this is actually my second time filming this video because I wasn't satisfied with the first one. I was supposed to upload the video today. It's Monday, July 8th. But Earlier at school, I was watching the final video and really I wasn't satisfied with it because I wasn't prepared. Like, I didn't scan through the questions and I answered it bara bara. Tapos walang laman. Like, I don't want to put up a video na hindi ko ginagawa yung best ko dun. And I realized ko, and dami ko palang questions na hindi nasagot. So, here I am filming it again. But, guys, don't think na my responses and reactions aren't genuine just because I'm doing this for the second time. I just really want to make my answers clear and understandable. Kaya, without further ado, let's get right on to the video. And I'm really sorry if my voice sounds weird. Ang sakit kasi nalalamunan ko and may sipon ako. But yeah, I asked you guys to share your questions and assumptions about me on Instagram and Curious Cat. So, we'll start with the questions and we'll get deeper into it. So, the first question is from underscore Yuan. Yuan May asks, Ano name mo? My full name is Denise Micaela Bagnas Nase. And I don't know if there's a story behind my name, but you guys can call me Den, 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 Denise, Mik, 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 Mika, Micaela, Miki. Kahit ano itawag mo sa akin doon, lilingon ako. And people also call me Nase or Nase. Yeah. Next question. Ilang taon ka na? I'm 15 years old, turning 16 this year. San ka na pasok? As you can see, I'm still wearing my uniform right now and I study at Manila Titana Colleges. If you guys want to see our campus, I suggest that you watch my first day of school vlog. I will link it down in the description box below so you guys can check it out. And yeah. Doon ako nag-aaral and bakit nga hindi pa ako nagpapalit is because um, trip ko lang. Ayoko na talaga maghanap ng damit na pang film. Kaya, yun. Basta yun. Next question. From underscore Sammy underscore 92. Ano kukunin mong course? I'm actually gonna be taking up dentistry as a course in college. And it is not my first choice. That is my dad's choice for me. But I opened my mind about it and turns out I liked it too. So yun yung kukunin ko. Next one is from Rafael Bagaforo. Hi. He he he. Nangaasar ba to? Uh, basta, yeah, my height is like 155-156 centimeters. Hindi ko alam kung tumangkad na ako. Hopefully. Kasi yung last na chinek ko yung height ko is nung municipal meet pa namin nung grade 10. So... Yun, tagal na panahon na yun. At NRJRBND Jaira asks, Hot dog? Nah, no, I'm actually more of like a cheese dog fan. Like, I, I just like cheese. Like, kapag nagluluto si mama ng hot dog, I will always ask her if may cheese yung hot dog. But yeah, that's what I really like. Especially yung chicken na may cheese na hot dog ng pure foods. Yeah, that's really good. Next question is from Curious Cat. Anon asked, are you single? And from Instagram, Jemashi, Jem asks, may jowa ka ba ngayon? And the answer is, wala po. And that's all I can say about that. Next, mahili ka din ba sa itlog? Sa chicken din galing yun, di ba? And, anong pinakaayo mong part sa chicken? Well, wala naman ako pinakaayo na part sa chicken. But I do have my least favorite. But that doesn't mean na ayaw ko doon. And it is yung leeg. Kasi diba guys, if you have eaten yung leeg ng chicken, ang dami niyang crevices, po crevices, ang dami niyang dense like yung laman, sumisiksik doon sa loob ng buto, and ang hirap niya kainin. Kaya yun. Pero, na, napapagtsagaan ko naman siya kainin. And hindi ako mahilig sa itlog. Siguro kapag may kasamang tapsi, ganun, kakainin ko siya. Pero itlog by itself, no. Next question is from Anon. Actually, hindi pala siya from Anon kasi may pangalan dito. Kamusta pasok? Mahirap ba? Ha ha ha! Subscribe to my channel, Notch Benavise. Kamusta pasok? Um, actually, ginaganahan talaga ako pumasok kasi ang saya talaga sa section namin. Like, walang division, walang 
um, nagsasarili, lahat nag interact and lahat approachable. Mahirap ba? Actually, no. Kasi, the fact na nagtutulungan kami, that's what makes it easier for us to study. Like, yung mga nakakaintindi talaga ng lessons, um, sinashare nila yung knowledge nila and tinutulungan nila yung medyo nahuhuli. Yun, ang saya lang. But not to the point na nag-cheat-cheat kami. Like, nakaka-proud. Kasi, yung section namin, talagang alagang sir ma ako. <laughs> yeah, subscribe to this channel, guys. Nacho Benavisa. I will leave a link in the description box below so you guys can check out this bomb song covers like we need to collab soon nudge like yeah <laughs> next question is from antique doll underscore nagsasayo ka pa um guys kasi that sa dati kong school uh, may dance group kami and nagpa-perform kami ng k-pop dances tuwing may events and our group is called 14 hi 14 shout out to you guys and syempre yung iba sa amin nag transfer na yung iba graduate na but yeah, I still do dance up to this day and I'm actually a part of our music ministry sa church. Nagsasayo kami kapag praise and kapag may events. And it's super duper fun and fulfilling to be able to serve the Lord using the talent that He has given me. So, thank you Lord. Next question is from Mark Broccoli, Kuya Alan asks, Ano madalas niyong pinag-aawayan ni Lexa? And is my curls cute? Yeah, your curls are cute. Like, Real cute. Ano madalas namin pinag-aaway ni ate? Siguro kapag ano, sobrang daldal ko, like kwento ko ng kwento, tas ang dami kong tanong sa kanya, yung parang ginugulo ko siya, eh, yung ate kong yan, maraming ginagawa, busy siya. So, kapag gano'n, naiinis siya sa akin kasi hindi siya makapag-focus. Yun lang naman madalas yung pinag-aaway namin. Hindi naman kami yung nag-aaway, yung board talaga, sabuntan, ganun, physical fights, no. Next is from I Say Kai, You Say Ra. Kai! Joke lang, corny ko. Sabi niya, but ka sleepy head, I'll miss that. I'll miss you too. But ako sleepy head, actually nag-start lang to, nung grade 10 ako. Kasi, ako guys, mabilis ako makatulog kapag nakakarinig ako ng indistinct noises. Like, ang daming tao nag-uusap, pero hindi ko naiintindihan yung pinag-uusapan nila. Mas mabilis ako makatulog ng ganun. Kesa sa dalawang taong nag-uusap, tapos naiintindihan ko yung pinag-uusapan nila. Like, syempre magkakaroon ako ng thoughts about their conversation. Kaya, mahirapan ako makatulog. So, yun. Mabilis ako makatulog dahil maingay ang lithium. Pero seryoso, yun nga. Joke lang. Pero maingay nga lithium, promise. Next is from Rafael Bagaforo. Are you biceps wall? Ito na naman itong tanong na to. Raf, dati ko pa ito sinesearch. Hindi ko malaman kung ano yung biceps wall. Ang lumalabas na sa Google. Yung medical terms and yung sa mga gym, ganun. So, guys, comment down below if you know what biceps wall is. Baka ako lang hindi nakakaalam nun. Baka nalilate na ako sa mga pangyayari dito sa mundo. Sa mga words. But, yeah. Next question. but lagi ka iniiwan? Ha 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 ha! Actually, hindi ako lagi iniiwan. Kasi kung lagi akong iniiwan, then I wouldn't have you guys. I wouldn't have my family, my church fam, my friends, and of course, the Lord. But, I still have all of them. So, technically, hindi ako lagi iniiwan. Next is, anong masasabi mo sa bashers mo? Joke lang. Ahahahaha. Ah, pakalupit nyo. The joke lang. Wala naman akong masasabi sa kanila kasi why would I waste my time thinking about those negative comments that people throw at me? Like, alam ko naman sa sarili ko that I wasn't born to please them. I was born to please the Lord. So, yeah. From you one again. Sabi niya, love you deep. Gusto ko lang, bakit ba? Well, see, love you more and message mo sa sarili mo. Um, I think it would probably be God loves you so love yourself. Kasi diba from love, everything good follows. Like magkakaroon ka ng peace, ng positivity, ng courage, ng patience sa buhay mo. Like if you are overflowing with love, you will be able to do good things without asking anything in return. And yun siguro yung mare-remind ko sa sarili ko araw-araw because God's love is what keeps me going. God's love is what keeps us all going. Kaya yun. Kapag ba pwede na, pwede pa. 
I can't answer this question because I don't know what the future holds but I trust in God's plan and will for me and confident ako na kung ano man yung mangyari, alam ko na God is working all things for good and kapag pwede na at pwede pa, then that's good. But if it's the other way around, okay lang din yun. Next is from Anon. Any regrets in life? Of course, I have regrets in life. Like, sa maliliit or malaking bagay, nagkaroon na ako ng regrets. But, okay lang yun because those regrets taught me lessons that helped me to be mature and to grow. And it helped me to be the person who I am today. So, Kailan mo malalaman pag kailangan mo na mag-give up sa isang bagay? Um, for me, kapag yung bagay or yung tao na yun is nakakapag-hinder na sa'yo sa mga kailangan mong gawin. Basically, if you start to prioritize that something or someone over more important things and over the Lord, that's when you know like, you need to stop. Just stop and let go. Give up mo na yan kasi may mas mahalaga ka pang bagay na kailangan pagtuunan ng pansin kesa dyan. Okay? Last question is from Anon. Best memory with your tropa ngayon? I think it would be no moving up namin, junior high school graduation. Like, wala kaming ginawa nun na, Walang after party. Di kami kumain sa labas ng sama-sama or anything. Just the thought of um, graduating junior high school with all of these amazing people in my life is so overwhelming and sentimental. Like, Kasi alam ko na pagtapos ng program na yun, we will be parting ways, we will be going to different schools and taking up different paths and there will be a tendency that we won't be seeing each other for a long time. But at the same time, I'm grateful that I was able to meet all of these people and I've created memories with them that I can treasure wherever I am. So, yeah. What was your reaction when I told you we hated you before? Hey, hey, sorry, love you. Di pala yung last question, sorry, meron pa pala. What was your reaction when I told you we hated you before? Hey, hey, sorry, love you. Um, Siyempre, sinabi ni sa akin yung nagulat ako. Kasi imagine, pagkakita mo sa person, hate mo na siya agad. Like, but, okay lang yun. Kasi nga, sabi sa lesson namin, Chardona, hello. <laughs> sabi din sa lesson namin, sa English, kapag... Kakita mo pa lang sa isang tao, magkakaroon ka na agad ng snap judgment about them. Like sa appearance nila or personality. So, wala naman akong magagawa kung yun yung naisip nyo sa akin. So, that's okay. And at least ngayon, nakilala nyo na ako. And turns out, we vibed with each other and okay yung relationship natin yan. So, okay lang yan. Moving on to the assumptions. First one is from underscore Luis. Hi, Sulit! Um, sabi niya, madaldal. Um, actually guys, madaldal talaga ako kapag may makukwento ako. Like, ang daming nangyari sa araw ko, ikukwento ko lahat sa inyo yun. Tapos, pag natapos ko na yung buong araw na yun, titigil na ako. And, kapag walang nangyari sa akin, natulog lang ako sa isang araw, sa buong maghapon na yun, wala akong ginawa, obviously, wala akong makukwento. So, hindi ako madaldal all the time. Sakto lang. Yun. Next assumption is from underscore Angela Alerta. Akala ko crush mo ako. <laughs> crush, crush talaga. Uh, de seryoso, parhanga ako dito kay Angela kasi sa room namin kapag bad trip siya or malungkot siya, um, nakakaya niya pa rin magpasaya ng tao. So, one of the happy pills of LI. Thank you for making us all happy. Next one is from underscore not your Kali. Sabi niya, masungit. And from Ray.Kiza, she said, ako una nakatabi nito nung first day grade 10. Kala ko masungit. Ahahaha. Actually, guys, hindi ako masungit. Like, syempre, bagong environment yung pinuntahan ko. Yung mukha ko ganito lang. Nagmamasid-masid pa lang ako, ganyan. Pero, kapag naman tumagal na, tapos nakaklose ko na kayo, promise, loka-loka ako, guys. Promise. Di nyo makakare yung kakulitan ko. Baka nga, gustuhin nyo na masungit na lang talaga ako. Pero yun, hindi po ako masungit. <laughs> Next is from Eve Rochelle. Sabi niya, matalino. Matalino. Para kasi sa akin yung matalino is yung wise ka mag-decision and alam mo yung gagawin mo sa mga situations. 
Ako kasi hindi ako masyadong ganun eh. Pero kung in terms of studies to, siguro matyaga lang talaga ako mag-aaral. Like, I do my best to, to study. Like, para makakuha ng mataas na grade. So, yun. Kasi naniniwala naman ako na hindi ka naman pagkapanganak mo. Alam mo na to lahat agad. In terms of studies to ah, hindi yung alam mo na agad tungkol sa mundo. Siyempre, natututunan yun. Kaya tayo tumatalino. Next one is from Akiya. Ate Kia, sabi niya, super mahiyain. Ha, ha, ha. Um, true, mahiyain ako sa una. Pero, kapag tumagal na, yun nga, kapag naka-close ko na kayo, like, magbibida-bida na ako. Promise, sometimes bida-bida ako. Lagi ako nagbo-volunteer ganun. Kasi confident ako na kaya kong gawin yung isang bagay. Parang, sige lang, go lang. Yun. So, sa una lang po ako mahiyain. Next is from Makeup by Jasmine Ira. Ay, si Ate Jess pala, guys, yung nag-makeup sa akin ng prom. If you guys want to check out her creations, I will leave her FB page and IG account in the description box. Check out her creations because it's bomb. Like, feel na feel ko nga yung kilay ko na and yung eyelash ko. Like, as a request pa ako sa kanya ng eye look, ha? <laughs> Sabi niya, I thought mataray pero sobrang bait at sweet na bata pala. <laughs> Ayun nga kanina, sabi ko, di ba, hindi ako mataray. Na-explain ko na yung kanina. Pero, sobrang bait, hindi ko po alam. <laughs> May kalokohan din ako minsan. Makulit din, gano'n. Sweet na bata. Uh, I agree, sweet ako sa ibang tao. Like, kapag super close ko, nangyayakap ako bigla-bigla, gano'n. Talaga, nangungurot, ganyan. <laughs> Next assumption is weak. Weak. I'm not weak. Hindi ako weak, promise guys. Inaakit ko nga yung galon dun sa countertop namin. Like, kung in terms of emotions to, hindi ako marupok, promise. Do you agree with me guys? Comment down below! Next, last assumption is from Anon. Sabi niya, really hyper and outgoing girl. Always looking at the positive but has a serious side and can sometimes be sincere. Really hyper, totoo yan. Grabe guys. Lalo na kapag kasama ko yung mga kaibigan ko, tapos sa kain pa ako ng matamis, like, para kong baliw. But, yeah. Outgoing girl. Uh, madalas G ako sa mga bagay-bagay. Pero hindi mga kalukuhan. Kahit ikan. Mga gala. Ganon. G lang. Um, and it is true that I have a positive outlook on life. Pero minsan talaga. Mabilis akong malungkot. Pero mabilis din talaga ako sumaya. As in, ganon. But has a serious side kasi sometimes be sincere. Kaya siguro sabi niya sometimes ito. Kasi nga, ba? Diba, Alam ng church fam ko yan. Lagi akong tawa ng tawa. Kaya, yun. That's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And I just want to remind you that people will always have something to say about us, whether it be good or bad. And it's up to us if we will focus or engage ourselves to those. But we must remember that we and God are the only ones who truly know ourselves. So... If any of you guys are struggling to accept what other people think about you, all I can say is cheer up, get up, and keep walking towards what God has called you to do despite of what other people think because His is the only opinion of us that matters. Love you guys. God bless.